Hello and welcome back to this little tutorial, part two of a DMN tutorial we're doing. I'm Niall, I'm from Kamunda, and I'm going to step through uh, part two, which is going to be turning this um, DMN model we built in version one into something executable and integrated with a BPMN model. So this is where we left off. We have our table, we have inputs, and we have an output. The thing we need to do now is actually add some execution semantics. We didn't do that before. Before we were building the table purely for documentation purposes, but now we want to make this run. And the, the first thing we need to do is we need to add variable names because each of these inputs needs a variable to actually check a name of a of the value we're actually going to go up against. And that's usually put in this expression field. So for instance, in this one, we're going to have its user status. So we're going to have a variable called user status. Right, And so that means that in the process, which we'll show later, we'll create that variable and then we'll end up using it um, uh, in this table and getting the result. So we'll go through each one of these. I'm going uh, engagement score is going to be a variable called calculate env engagement score. Under 18 is going to be uh, under 18. Um, oops. Uh, we have student and it's going to be is student and then finally we have the output so this is the variable that's going to be um coming back which is answer to our question is eligible for an upgrade and we have eligible for an upgrade there so um our table is now ready to be executed the two more things i want to do in this video is i want to show you how to integrate that into a bpm model and then how to let a user enter that data that we need to evaluate the table so let's do that now first things first let us build ourselves a bpm model i'm going to go back to the folder where we started to create our dmn table uh, which is here which just has our dmn table and I'm create a new bpm diagram um, so this is going to uh, the thing we run in order to execute the uh, table and this is going to be called um, eligibility check let's spell eligibility correctly why not that's a new thing for me and great so um, when building a model um, I have a lot to say about that and I'll try to keep as much about BPMN to myself because this is about DMN but uh, generally speaking we need a uh, start event obviously and to name that so this would be check if user is uh, eligible uh, eligible uh, for an upgrade and usually the BPMN model, the next thing you add is actually the end event. Uh, so you know the scope of the process. So I'm going to bring this over here and the end event is going to be called um, check complete. Great. In between, we only need two tasks. We're going to use, first of all, we start this project process, we need a way to call the DMN table. In BPMN, uh, we have a bunch of different symbols, like a user task, for user, yeah, where user information gets entered and that sort of thing. Service task, which calls a system, usually a microservice. For DMN tables, we have a business rules task. So when I click on this, I can then enter here, decide on eligibility. Great. And I can then um link this to the table we just created so i'm going to do that right now and you can do that by clicking here now because we're building this in the same folder as the dmn table uh, if we click here we'll be able to see the des decide an eligibility upgrade thing so i'm going to click on that and now those are linked and uh, the only thing to add is a results variable and the results variable is going to be where we're actually going to uh keep the result of the table. So if I select this, I'm going to put that here. Okay, two more things to add. The next is a, a user task so we can see the results. So this is going to be a check. Oops, first of all, it's a user task. That's easy. And now the name of it is going to be a check uh, if user is eligible. Great. Uh, so the user task is great. And we, we also need a, an input. Now, for both of those things, I've already created um, in this uh, folder here um, some forms. 
uh, that you can add. I'm not going to create the forms from scratch, but just to let you know, there are these two forms enter user details and see if user is eligible. There are two forms that we're going to be using. So copy those. And if we go back here, what I'll do is I will just um, paste, uh, drop those two forms in my project like so. Cool. So they're uploaded. And now if I go back to my model, I'll be able to connect them to the various events. So the, the various places. The first place I want to connect my form is going to be here because we need user information to start this process. So if I add um, see if user is eligible or no, enter user details, great. So we'll link that form. And that form looks like this. It has a username, status, date of birth, engagement score, is under 18 and is a student, tick boxes. We'll go through it once we execute it. And then we also have a another form to see the results. And for that, it'd be see if user is eligible. And we'll link that. That's a very basic form that just shows a true or false variable as far as I remember. Um, yeah, is user. And then the true or false will show up there. So that's our new uh, cool process. Um, so now it's time to um, execute that process. So execution requires deployment. And we have uh, two artifacts here that need to be deployed. We have a BPMN model and a DMN model. You can group those into a, like a process application. I haven't done that here, so we need to deploy them independently. Um, so we check here that there's zero problems. Great, we're in good shape. Um, we are looking good. We're gonna click deploy. Um, and now we're gonna be told you can see here that it's added the two forms to the deployment, but the business has a business rules task that requires to be deployed separately. So I'll do that. I'm also deploying it to a version that doesn't match, and it's also telling me that it's going to change the version, which is also great. So if I click deploy, it'll then be deployed to my Alfie 6.2 cluster, and there we are, it's deployed. Um, but we can't run it yet because I then need to go back and I need to uh, deploy my uh, uh, DMN table, which is here. So let's go and click on deploy. We'll deploy that here. Marvelous. Okay, we did it. Go team. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, the dashboard. So here's our model that we just deployed. We can see the process. Uh, there's nothing running in it just yet. Uh, let's go here. Great. That's it. Now it's time to execute this process and see everything running. So we can actually do that from the modeler. We can do that from a few different places, but we can do that from the modeler. Uh, so let's go in here and let's go back to our uh, model. And let's click run. So this will then um, show up with our lovely form. Um, I'm going to enter Nile, status check, regular. My date of birth was only a few months ago, I think. I was born in January. Uh, my engagement score is a cool, let's say, 35. Um, I'm under 18 because I was born in January. Um, and uh, I'm not a student, sadly. So let's run this. So that's going to start a new instance. So now we're going to go back to operate and get a view of this, of the specific instance we're running. And we should be able to see if this executed the decision table and what the results are. And that's quite important. So we see here that we have um, run our decision table. We are now currently on this form. So if we open up this in task list, we'll be able to see the result of the DMN table in a human readable way. So let's take a look. So there's our, there's our form, check if user is eligible. We have, and it's not, oh no, I'm not eligible for an upgrade. That's a real shame. So I'm going to uh, take this and complete it. Uh, now I'm gonna head back here and I'm gonna take a look at why I'm not eligible. And I can do that by selecting the business rules task. And you can see right here, we have a link to the decision table instance that was run, right? So if I go in here, I can then see, okay, so now was, um, uh, regular, but his score was under 40. Um, so it doesn't really matter. He's automatically rejected. And we can see the inputs are here. The output is here. It's all very, very clear. And the result is false. 
Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. We have a running pro um, a DMN process, but let's make our DMN easier to understand, easier to execute, easier to read. Uh, in the next video, we're going to make things a little more interesting and get into DRDs or decision requirements diagrams and a BK. Um, M's, which is business knowledge models. Okay, so see you then.